Hi, third grade. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it was very sad to find out that we will not be going back to Elwood School for the rest of the school year, but I hope you are all staying healthy and taking care of each other and your family. What this video is going to describe is the art projects that you're going to do for the rest of April. Once we get into May, I will send a new project assignment out. So, once again, keep in mind that you're able to make choices. Each week, you only have to do one art project, and you either email it to me or have an adult email it to me, or you can upload it to Seesaw. If you need a passcode to Seesaw, please send me an email. It's nice, the people who are using Seesaw who are complimenting or giving each other um, wonderful comments on each other's artwork. It's nice to see students are supporting each other. So let me describe the different art projects. The beginning art projects are ones that we already had. So if you haven't done any of these yet, there's still choices that you can choose. The first one, as you recall, was the personal information artwork. So you go through the list and you find your birth month, you find your birth date, you find your favorite color and the shirt color you're wearing, and you use that information to create a drawing. So it kind of creates this interesting drawing. So if you haven't done that one yet, you're welcome to do that. The second one is a digital self-portrait. A lot of people are using ABCA for this, but I'm also finding some students are finding that the website is bogged down. I think it's because so many students are logging into it. So in this email, I'm going to include a website that you can use instead of ABCA. So if you haven't done the digital self-portrait yet, you're welcome to do that. Then you have the color wheel challenge. I had to look it up because there's so many projects. So the color wheel challenge is when you are able to go around your house and find objects to put in a circle. So you need red, red orange, orange, yellow orange, yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, blue, blue violet, violet, and red violet. And you put them in the circle in the order of the color wheel and you have someone take a photo and send it to me. So if you haven't done that one yet, that one's fun because it's kind of like a scavenger hunt in your house. Last week was the week where students were able to be creative, be an artist, and you're able to create anything using any art material. So if you haven't done that one yet, that's a fun one. I've had a lot of students be culinary artists where they were baking and they were sending um, images of the stuff that they created. Some students were being Lego artists. Some students were being chalk artists. So that one's really, really open-ended. So I'm going to tell you the two new projects that you could add on, and this should take you through the month of April. One due this week, and then one due next week. The first one... You take your name and you write it out. You could just do your first name. If you're able to turn them into bubble letters, try to turn them into bubble letters. Then separate each letter and you put a pattern behind each letter. So each pattern should be different. Make sure you're filling the space. And then if you have any coloring things at home like crayons or color pencils or markers, you use those materials to add color. The last project that you have an option for is a teacher appreciation project. When I ori originally wrote this, I was hoping we'd be back in May, but since we're not, it still will be a great project to do because I will email it to the teachers. Usually I do teacher appreciation projects where students are able to create a portrait of a teacher to um, let them know how much they appreciate them. The beginning of May is teacher appreciation month. So, unfortunately, we won't be back, but if you choose this option, then you're going to be able to send it to me or upload it to Seesaw, and I will email it to the teacher you choose. So, maybe you want to do one for Mrs. DeMasso, or Mr. Dooley, or Mr. Crop, or Mrs. Koenig, or Mrs. Huguenin, or... Mrs. Forsythe or Mrs. Mangan or me. So you choose whatever teacher you want and you're going to draw them. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show some ex different examples of all the different projects you could do so you have like an image to look at. And then the pictures that are of the teacher appreciation are ones that former students have drawn of me. So that's an option as well. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me and I will answer them. 
I hope everyone has a great week and I hope you have fun creating. Bye.